But the movie Red Tails comes the history of the Tuskegee Airmen, the first African-American aviators in the U.S. Army. But they weren't the only all-black unit to grace the skies. The 555th Parachute Infantry Battalion, better known as the Triple Nickels, was the first all-black infantry parachute test platoon in the Army. And it all started right here at Fort Benning. During a time of racial segregation in the Army, one of Fort Benning's own all-black units rose above the rest. One of the first black airborne troopers recalls an event that changed history. And it was done here in the spot that we're in. Because General Gaither saw me and my men practicing the calisthenic movement. And that's when he told me the secret that the army was going to activate a colored parachute company. And would I like to be the first sergeant? And I said, yes, sir. Retired First Sergeant Walter Morris is one of only three of the Triple Nickel soldiers still alive today. He shares his first feelings about finding out the Army was activating the colored test platoon. It was such a feeling that we were going to be training as paratroopers, not waiting tables, not washing dishes, but paratroopers, and that was a very big thing. Morris reminds us of the importance of remembering what it was once like in America and why the start of the 555th was such an important mark in history. It's important that the young kids, black and white, know that there in, in the World War II, colored soldiers did more than just wait tables and drive trucks. For the members of the Triple Nickels and other all-colored units that existed in the military, having a chance to participate in real training meant the world. And for us looking back on history, today is the perfect time to reflect on what used to be. Melissa Anderson, Fort Benning TV.